Hello, my name is Sam and I live in my pickup. I'm currently wearing a traditional Japanese kimono. I picked up this piece of attire during my recent trip to Japan. While I was there, I attended the Rugby World Cup, I fed apples to monkeys, and I climbed Mount Fuji. <laughs> Many people seem to have questions about what the dating scene is like for me, as well as questions about my sexual orientation. Well, as a heterosexual male, I can confirm that I do indeed have relations with members of the opposite sex. Today I will be dabbling into some of the details revolving around my love life. In this video there will be some sexual references, so if you are under the age of 18, I ask you to please turn the video off at this time. On my travels, I managed to pick up a new cassette. There's some pretty sweet tunes on here. You may be shocked to hear this, but there is a segment of the female population who isn't exactly down to chat it up with a dude living out of his vehicle. I usually don't disclose my living situation until a couple of dates in. I will first try to seduce the women with my verbiage before I drop the news on them. I've yet to be openly mocked by anyone about living out of my pickup, but there have been a handful of dates where the girls will excuse themselves to go to the bathroom, and at some point they must have taken a wrong turn because I never saw them again. But those that stick around generally have a lot of questions, and those questions range from my employment status, my criminal history, all the way to where do I go number two in the middle of the night. As far as where do I meet women, I used to do what a lot of millennials did, and that's turn towards online dating. My go-to sites were Farmers Only, as well as BlackPeopleMeet.com, but I no longer use these sites, and instead I try and meet women organically. Now my go-to spot to meet members of the opposite sex is the gym. I'll just sort of strut around there like a peacock in a state of constant flexing. Another way I meet women is just by walking around the streets of California. I've noticed there's a lot of girls that are living a rent-free life like myself. However, they're usually sleeping in tents on the sidewalk instead of in their pickup. The problem is when approaching these girls is they're usually too busy shooting up heroin or screaming at fire hydrants to notice my advances. To help improve my resume with the ladies, I've gone full in on trying to learn a new language. The senoritas love an hombre who can spit some game in Espanol. So I got a six month subscription to a Spanish learning site to help improve my pickup lines. Perde mi numero de telefono. Puedo tener el tuyo? My coworkers are always super helpful and they got me this book called The Rules. Now this is dating from a woman's perspective. It is slightly outdated, but there's still a lot of great advice in here. There are a series of things I do in order to get ready for a date. The first is to make sure I have a proper pump session in, whether that be in the gym or just running around the woods. I wanna get the blood flowing to make sure I have ample testosterone in my system. Following the workout, I like to get a yoga session in. This just allows me to have maximum mobility as well as flexibility. A stretch I recommend is called the happy baby. It really opens up the pelvic floor if that's something you're looking to do. This is a very compromising position, 
but once you get past that, the results are amazing. I highly recommend topping off your glycogen stores for any kind of quick burst energy you might need later in the night. This is the meal I brought today. It should provide me with the nutrients I need. The last item that I address is my hygiene. If I have access to the shower at my gym or a river, I'll just use those to wash off. But sometimes those options aren't always available to me. If that's the case, I turn towards baby wipes. I'll grab a few of these, scrub down my armpits as well as my undercarriage, and I'll be ready for game time. If a date's going well and it looks like things are gonna progress, I'll invite them back to my place to watch some planet Earth. If I am going to have a guest over, I try and park somewhere a little bit classier, such as a Target parking lot or something along those lines. I do always make sure my abode is in pristine condition. I'll vacuum out the living room, fluff my pillow, and I'll give the camper shell a heavy dose of air freshener. I go with the pumpkin spice smell. This seems to be a hit among the ladies. If my date would just rather go back to their place, I'm also 100% fine with that. My living quarters are slightly confined and it doesn't leave a lot of room for activities. So if you ever see my truck a rockin', please call 911 because I'm probably back here having a seizure. One last important piece of advice I have involves prenups. I usually bring this up around the fourth or fifth date. One of the biggest fears I have is that I will get married and divorced, at which point my wife will take half my house and I'll have to give her either my tires or the camper shell. So to avoid this whole fiasco, I just take preemptive measures. Overall, I'd say that this mobile lifestyle hasn't affected my dating life in a negative way. And if anything, it's maybe helped it a little bit. A lot of girls find what I'm doing to be interesting. They think I'm trying to disconnect from society and find myself in nature. But in reality, I'm just trying to save a lot of cash. I do appreciate you checking out my videos, but I gotta get going. It's time to wine and dine. Sayonara.